Hey people of YouTube, Rizwan Jagani here with another Tuesday video and today I'm actually going to do a review for you guys. I wasn't asked to do this by a specific person or by the company of the product that I'm going to do, but I figured this would be something helpful for everybody as I wish that there was something like this for me when I was going down this road. Now most recently if you've seen from my videos is I've gone pretty much electric on a lot of my performances simply because it's the best way to amplify the sound of my acoustic instruments when I'm playing with a backing track. There have been a couple of times I've gone to weddings or things like that where they have a microphone but no mic stand or they don't even have that all together. So now I have a whole setup that's ready to go wherever I go. So I'm going to review part of what I use in my whole setup and I'll probably over the next few weeks go through and do a bunch of things regarding my uh, setup that I use for electric. So the first thing I'm going to do actually today is give you a review over the Fishman V200 Violin Viola Pickup. If you've seen some of my videos, I sometimes have a little metal piece attached to my instrument near the chin rest. That's this baby. And I love it. It's one of the, It's been one of the most beneficial things that I've been using ever since I started going electric on the viola. Now, one of the ways um, this works is, well, the way this works, essentially, there's no other way. Let me take the piece part on the back. So it attaches to the side of the instrument where the ch near the chin rest using a chin rest like hardware on the sides you have these turnbuckles and you have a little mount at the bottom and it basically attached to the side when you buy this product from Fishman it tends to just have violin sized turnbuckles so they're shorter don't have them on me they're in the box um, they're about this size and the problem with that is on a viola it won't work um, it's not high enough to basically wrap around the thicker bout of the viola so Fishman offers viola sized turnbuckles for $40, which I don't think is exactly worth it. The best thing to do is go to a luthier shop and just see if you can get viola turnbuckles. I actually am using the old ones on my uh, current chin rest because I changed the feet on my chin rest. So that solves that problem. And then it mounts to the side, like so. Let me just see. Like so, right here. And you place and you plug in a quarter inch here. That'll go into an amplifier or a wireless or whatever. And this little baby right here goes into the I the wing section of the bridge, which is right here. Now, mostly you, um, if you see on this part of the bridge, it's very thin as compared to this. That's because I had to take this to a luthier for him to sandpaper this part to make it a little bit thicker to make that little tiny part fit in. And that's because uh, it normally wouldn't otherwise. This little piece of technology is called a piezo pickup. I don't know how it got its name, but it goes into the bridge, which is the main contact of main point of sound contact, and that sound goes through this wire into this little drum part right here that eventually gets amplified. And it's a very pure, clean sound for the most part. There, if you use a good speaker, if you use a very cheap quality speaker, you'll get a very metallic sound. So that's one thing I don't like. I have a Ion Block Rocker Bluetooth speaker that I tried to use with this uh, setup. It just sounds like as though um, it just sounds as though someone is taking a metal bow and playing over the strings because that's how harsh it sounds. But otherwise, in all of some, if you see some of my videos, it sounds pretty darn good, and I like how it come. Uh, I like how it works. Um, the best thing about this type of pickup is you can take it on and off the instrument and once it's on the instrument you can actually case and uncase with it on. Um, if you see Lindsay Sterling, she's like probably the best example. She has something like this on her viol on her violin. It's a little different though. Um, that particular pickup actually attaches into the bridge. The, V200, the V300 and the V400 by Fishman. Actually the wire goes to a bridge and then you have to have that bridge cut and fitted for your instrument. So a lot of people, what they do is they sometimes change out their bridges depending on what they're doing because they just prefer that. I like how my bridge is. It's not broken. It's a perfectly good functional bridge. And it has actually helped the sound of my instrument over the years. So I use that bridge and I just put this baby right inside and it works. And if I'm like, let's say, traveling where I need it, I just keep it on the instrument until like, you know, I come back from the gig um, just because it's easier and I don't have to take it off the instrument to case up the instrument. The only time I will really take it off is if I'm not using this for a long period of time or if I'm like, you know, a photo shoot or something like that where you don't want this tends to look like an eyesore. 
Um, big disclaimer though, as I was mentioning about the turnbuckles. As you can see, this little piece right here is th is a uh, thinner. It's not as long as your standard ones on chin rests. Um, this is because it's if you look at it this way, the uh, space of the pickup isn't that uh, thick. So do not change this part out. If you think it might look better to use those separate size, those separate feet, like for the hill, um, that are on hill style feet, don't use that because this thing is also built thinner than your standard chin rest bracket. And that allows the shoulder rest actually to go over the feet. So like when I have it on my instrument, I have one part of the shoulder rest here and then the other part of the shoulder rest here and it mounts. It doesn't slide off or anything. That's because this is thinner and it allows it to work. So do not lose this and do not replace it with anything else um, except just use this. So overall, that's how it works. I'm going to attach a few videos in the description for how the pickup looks on the instrument and how um, I was basically using it. I have a few performances where I'm using the Fishman pickup and I absolutely love it. I usually plug it into my wireless setup, which I'll do a review on later, or I just have a long cord going into the uh, amplifier, depending on my mood, honestly. Sometimes I like using the wireless, sometimes I, it just depends on my situation. But I'll probably do a different review on the wireless setup, but this is part of how I go electric with my instrument and how I can amplify my sound if I'm playing in a big hall, or if I'm playing in a restaurant, or if I'm playing um, where I just basically need to get a bigger sound. But that's it for now. I'm probably going to put this on my instrument right before I go off today. I am premiering my viola arrangement of The Wizard and I that I talked about in last week's Tracklist Tuesday. And I'll put that in the link below. And definitely expect a video for that. So until next week, happy Tuesday.